to Russell Westbrook and Paul George, they both went off. They combined for 64 points. They won without Carmelo Anthony, but overall, Russell Westbrook and Paul George, they played great. Now, like I said before, the reason why the Thunder were losing before was because they weren't sharing the ball. Everyone who watched this game, all they saw was Paul George and Russell Westbrook. Even when they were winning by like 8 points and there was like 1 minute left on the clock, they were still in the game. Like, what's happening? Let them sit out. But of course, this is the problem that I have with OKC is that when they got Melo on the court, their ball goes from PG Russ Melo throughout the entire game. And now they didn't have Carmelo Anthony and I thought they would share the ball to other players. But no, the ball went from Paul George to Russell Westbrook and Jeremy Grant. He had 10 points besides Russell Westbrook and Paul George and Jeremy Grant. Everybody else on the Thunder, they all scored under 10 points. And of course, I mean, even if they do get the ball, they're going to miss. But I mean, and also... I don't put the blame on Russ, PG, and Melo only, and the coach. I also put the blame on the rest of the Thunder. I mean, they got to step up. I mean, they got to want the ball. They got to make the shots too because at the same time, Russell Westbrook can pass them the ball all day, but if they're not making the shots, I mean, you won't pass it. The Thunder, they don't have the best bench, so when PG, Melo, or Russ, they sit down, they could lose the game because there's nobody else that can carry the team. And also, if you're on the Thunder and you're not Melo, PG, and Russ, you got to step up. You gotta want the ball. You gotta prove that, hey, Westbrook, you can pass me the ball and I'm gonna make the shots. Because we know Westbrook, he's more confident in passing it to Melo and PG. For the Thunder, for them to win without Melo, it proves that they're good. But then again, the only thing that got proved in this game was that PG and Russ can carry the Thunder without Carmelo Anthony on the floor. Now, in my opinion, the Thunder have to address a couple of things because I don't see them beating Golden State if they're only depending on Russ, Melo, and Paul George. If the Thunder make it to the Western Conference Finals and we took out Melo, PG, and Russ, and we set them on the bench, and on the Warriors, we also take out Stephen Curry, KD, or Klay Thompson, or Draymond Green, who'd win the game? To me, the Warriors. But you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. I might be wrong. 